Hi and welcome to another episode and what we've got here is is a Fire TV Stick 4K Max which is obviously made by Amazon. I've done an unboxing about it here already but what is it that I want to do with it today? I want to turn it into a Steam Link box. Remember those things from yesteryear that Steam brought out the idea that you could have your fancy PC in one room and play your games in a different room? Well, you could but they weren't that great. But who needs one of them nowadays? You can use a Fire TV Stick. Even a year or so ago I made a video about how to actually do such a thing. But I'm doing it again because some people seem to be having problems. Things have changed a little bit of how to get to it and things. So I'm doing it again and plus I'm proving it works with the Max. So let's get across to the Fire TV Stick and the computer. Okay the Fire TV Stick's on. I'm just going to show for a second. I do in fact have my computer turned on with Steam already hooked up to the network and everything like that. The Fire TV stick does actually have um, Wi-Fi 6 already set up, but you could probably get away with Wi-Fi normal. Um, but I would recommend you use Wi-Fi 6. Go all the way across to the settings, come down, select remotes and Bluetooth devices. You may be ahead of yourself here at the moment, or ahead of me, but you need game controllers. And then we want to add a game controller. So I've got an Xbox One gamepad version 2, so it's got the Bluetooth built in. I'm pressing the X button on the very top so the flashy light's going. Then I'm pressing the little button across the bar across the front of it so it flashes even faster. And then from there, giving a little bit of time, and we say that to add new controller, it finds the Xbox controller. And then we press select again on the remote control. And there we go, it now recognizes an Xbox One gamepad. So now we've come away from all of this, because we can. And just to make life easy, I'm going to press the blue button at the very top of the remote control, which is the Alexa button. Um, then I'll press and hold that. Downloader. And that's the app that I want, so I'm pressing select to select it. It's already got it on the cloud for me, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to need to download it again because I'm doing this from scratch just to show you. So it's downloaded. We get it opened. We need to allow for it to do media stuff and everything like that. We click OK. We need to start writing in here. So we press select again. So here we need A P K mirror and in the space and then we need steam we need another space link now sometimes when searching for this it doesn't actually pop up straight away in the realms of the list that it shows and the easiest thing to do is to go back to home and search for it again. So we'll see if it comes up with it. Here we go. Click OK over it. I'll select further. There we go. We're just going to give it consent. It's not messing around with things because it doesn't really matter in the long run. Come down, down, down. Currently, latest version is 1.1.85, but we need to look at two variants. There's an advert, so let's get rid of that. Keep coming down so we see available downloads. Slide down again. We need the no DPI version. It's just you can see there, and then select that one. You notice a little bit of a loading bar across the top on orange line. Wait for that to finish before you start clicking around and everything. Keep scrolling down. Download the APK, which says it's 114.6, but surprise, surprise. Bet it didn't. Well, I bet it isn't. It's in G8. Right, there we go, it's downloading it. There we go, 
1.2 megabytes. Downloading away merrily. It will try to install. It won't be able to because you have to give the downloader app a chance to actually um, download other apps. So you keep selecting until it turns it on, then you press back, back again. Then you need to press select again to install it again. Here you might get a bit stuck, you actually have to press down, down and then right, select install. There we go, it's done. So we can actually select done. And I realize it comes back to the me at this point here because I had a bit of a foul up, but it would normally take you back to the website and things. You can actually delete the file from here now. So you get the option to delete. To get the option, if you're looking at the files download, you press the burger button, that's the one with the three lines. You, could, you can delete that file because you don't need it anymore now that you know it's installed. So this is the bit of where we need to um, keep pressing back because what we need to do now is actually reset the Fire TV stick. So we restart it and I'll come back when it's rebooted. So once it's rebooted, go all the way across to your apps, press select, move down and then you need to go here if you haven't already got an icon that looks like this this is basically the icons of not getting picked up there may be a fix out there i'll have to look it up um, and maybe make a video about how to fix icons um, the point is at the moment it doesn't currently show it correctly but this is it and if you don't see it in this list here by the way just go to app library and then you'll see a long list of everything you've ever installed at any point in your life on here um, and as you can see it's the last one that's been selected so anyway we'll launch it and then steam loads which is what we want so let's get started so as I said already we've got steam already loaded it's found my computer I'm gonna hide the name of my computer but um, let's select it and it gives us a code that we have to type in. There we go. So four five nine five is the one the code that I've actually got. You probably get a different code. In fact, very likely get a different code. So we press OK on there and then I'm going to transition across and you'll see this. And basically it's going to try to figure out, can it get 100 megabits per second? And so that's what you kind of need. You need a very good Wi-Fi signal, which is why I recommend the Wi-Fi 6. And if you haven't got Wi-Fi 6, just make sure you've got like a good connection. Even with Wi-Fi 6, you need to make sure that you're hitting at least 100 megabits per second, which is what it's happy about. Um, it's going to complain about the fact that it doesn't recognize this device. That's fine. It's, we know it's an Amazon device, we know what we're doing. So, we've got a good connection. We've got the gamepad already on because it hadn't timed out the whole time of messing around and installing. If it does happen to time out, just turn the gamepad back on again. So now though, we can use the gamepad and then we can press um, A and it's connected. And there we go, now your computer will flip across to big screen in the way of Steam, but also your Fire TV stick will be showing the same. So let's just start Rocket League for the sake of it right now. You can just press that button at the side of the button, the one that's saying press the back button. If we just press that for a moment, just to uh, get rid of it. There 
And here we are with controlling. So I happen to have the Knight Rider car kit. But let's press play. Um, custom games. Private match. Create private match. And let's just have a quick go at um, taking on some bots. contemplating on how good or bad I am with this game. But the point is, we now have turned the Fire TV stick into a Steam Link device, yet again. So is it worthwhile? I'd say so. It's worked well with the Steam Link anyway for me, but uh, the Fire TV stick and now with this Max one it does work better, get a stronger connection with Wi-Fi 6, and with the Fire TV stick just being faster in this case, it seems to be handling it a lot better than it used to. What can I say about the other side of it? Well, I will be checking out really to see if there's some way of like, I don't know, remote playing your Xbox, remote playing this, that or the other. If you've got any ideas of what you'd like to see working, then let me know. But have a look in the description though, because I'll be putting in there on how to sort out uh, port forwarding. You might need to be able to do that. Um, I've not had to, but uh, you might need to be able to. But also check the description for the Patreon links and the Discord links. Come have along and have a chat. Back me if you can. Click the subscribe button, click the like button. But as always. But as always, happy gaming.